So uh, this video, I'm going to be making uh, Mjolnir from Thor, Thor's Hammer. I, uh, I was doing this kind of on my own. I wasn't going to make a video because it was probably going to be pretty in-depth. But uh, this is as far as I got. And I used probably, I think it's about a 16 thick metal. And uh, my welder just kept blowing freaking holes in it. See that? And, you know, there's, there's more holes. But, I mean, it looked good. It just, uh, and it's not that heavy or I can swing it, but it just, uh, I got sick of blowing holes through it and then having to patch them up and do all that. So I, uh, I just went to my local, I don't know, it's called a furniture warehouse, but they do like surplus steel and stuff. And I got a bunch of these cutoffs. I already sanded off the scale and uh, I made a drawing here. Um sort of uh, rough dimensions of what I need. So I'm gonna draw out the shapes that I'm gonna cut out on these. These are the uh, the four big sides. And the uh, next thing you'll see is me cutting out. So yeah. good. Oh, okay. So I got all my side pieces. I got these pieces and these pieces cut out. So I can weld those together for now. Because I'm kind of taking a break from cutting. Just kind of, you know, it's a lot of crappy work. So what I'm going to do is take this and this, I'm going to put it at an angle that I think is close, tack it, and then go over to the desk and put it onto the stencil and see how close I am and then I can bend it to where it needs to go. So. And it jams. Story of my fucking life. So this welder is uh, the $110 version from Harbor Freight. So a tack is actually like a long, you know, but let's see how close we are. All right, I got it at the correct, ow, fuck. My, my welding out and hit the fan. Um, so I got it, ow, fuck, that's hot. Right on the existing burn. So, because this is a uh, puny weak welder, I find that preheating the metal makes a world of a difference. So, 
That's what we're gonna do. Decapitator, getting me. That's my giant ass fan that's very low hanging. Keeps me from dying in here from heat. Yeah, it's only like the sixth time that I've blown the breaker from doing this. the main body of it you can see it's a little bit bigger what the hell was that um it's a little bit bigger than my original which i'm okay with but it is like way heavier this only right here is already heavier than this and this has like a, a wooden core that i made yeah, I made it out of wood first and then I built the metal around it. And I think that might have been part of the problem was when I was making the welds, the wood was burning and the smoke was coming out and interfering with the welds. That might have been part of the problem. But, uh, yeah. There's all the uh, plates welded together. So now I'm going to let it cool down a bit, let the metal settle where it wants to be. And then I'm going to start doing a whole lot of grinding, clean it all up. Probably do some patch jobs where there's like holes where I missed the weld completely, but yeah, it's coming along. Okay, so now that it's ground down mostly, I'm going to go over it with the sanding pads to clean everything up to make it look like, to make it easy to see all the different pits and everything. I'm not going to worry about the pits on these edges because another layer of steel, like a thin layer of steel gets wrapped around this middle part to add a step right here. If you look at the See that step that I put there comes around? That's another layer of steel around there because that's how the original hammer works. So, next thing you see is me uh, welding the plates on to the outside of this. Okay, so uh, I got my uh, pieces for that uh, steel that goes around this to create the step right here. Right here. So, what I'm doing now is center punching or yeah center, center punching out and then I'll drill a hole you know and I'll do I'm doing them all over the place and then I'll 
drill the hole, and then when I put them on here, I'll actually plug weld them onto the sheet, and then I will also weld along the edges as well, so they'll be super duper on there. So, you can see that I drilled the holes and I have clamped it down and now I'm going to plug weld into the holes. All right, so I got that step put on there. Now uh, it's time for a whole lot of grinding. Okay, so uh, I did all the grinding on all the edges and then I went back through with the welder and filled in most of the pits. There's still some, but uh, I, uh, I'm having a family gathering today and I want to be able to take it over there and kind of show it off. And I want it to be you know, relatively done the main body of it, not any of the etching or anything, but I forgot to film me putting the handle on. And oh my god, is it heavy. One thing that I really don't like, I don't know if you can hear it, listen. There's a bunch of sparks in there. That's one thing that this one doesn't have because it's not hollow. It has that wooden core in there. So, there's still a little rattle, but This is, uh, this is sweet. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the circle thing on the top here. So I need to get on the computer and find out what size it is. And then uh, we'll weld it on.
So that's the last bit of metal to be put on the hammer other than the uh, pommel, which I have this uh, one inch uh, pipe cap that I will use. I'm gonna put it in, uh, once I get the chuck for my uh, drill, I will be able to do that, but man, it's heavy. So for the family presentation today, I, I just gotta shine it up a bit more, shine this up after it cools down a little bit because it's just gonna keep getting blue. But uh, looking pretty good. So uh, I decided since uh, there's so much more to do, I mean, I have a lot more cleanup to do and I have to fill in a bunch of weld on these uh, pits and I still got to do the pommel and all the etching that I'm going to, uh, and this video is already like 16 minutes long, that I'm going to, uh, I'm going to split it up into two parts. So this is all the metal for the you know, body of it, and then everything else is cosmetic. So this is part one. Now, uh, got the circle on there, it's got some holes and pits that I got to fill in. You know, the wall is a little choppy, this ridge here, I mean, there's still spatter from welding still, and it's got to be shined up, and a lot of the, uh, you know, roughness taken out of the walls and everything. So, this is the end of part one, and I, uh, I greatly, great, I can't express to you how much I appreciate you guys watching till the end, you know, and, I mean, Analytics is saying people like on average only watch two and a half minutes worth of my videos and that's like nothing, you know, so for you to watch till the end it means a lot to me and uh, I hope I start, you know, interesting you guys more and the next video will either be part two of this or I'm going to make an angel blade from Supernatural. I already have the uh, the steel for it. This is a steel bar I picked up from the same furniture factory place that I picked up for. It's about an inch and a quarter, an eighth and a, either an inch and a quarter or an inch and an eighth wide. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, on the to-do list. So thanks for watching. Again, I appreciate it.